Hi, this is Ariel from the View of Las Vegas. With Mila Penkovska from Las Vegas. And Maria, the View of Las Vegas. We miss you, Kiki and Erica. I know, you look beautiful, by the way. Oh, actually, with my nerdy look. Yeah, is that what you're going to portray on Maria and Joel? Um, different, you know, what's our show coming up soon? Every week, week after week, I will be portraying different character, actually. I'm going to be a nerdy. She's going to be crazy and nerdy in, and Crazy, cool. nerdy, How about that? hip, uh, what, punk, <laughs> and everything. <laughs> so watch us um, soon, please support our but show. But anyway, let me go a little shout out before we end our uh, last hour for Aria Live TV and the View of Las Vegas. Thank you so much to all the viewers out there and all Facebook friends that I have. So please know the person of our guest today. We're not here to hurt anyone out there. We are here to send a message that not all parents are bad and not all parents are, you know, uh, crazy out there. And Luda is here to send a message that she's a good parent and she just wants the joint custody custody of the son that she's longing for such a long time because she's only getting eight, eight days, days. A no month. yeah this imagine is a mom. that this is a baby and that's, this is a mother a baby okay yeah. this is Thank a mother you. this and, is a mother uh, go ahead loda go ahead send your message to all the parents out there that if they have experience about the judges or the lawyer that they have they can come in our show are you like tv and the view of las vegas well i would like to encourage parents if you also were dealing with injustice um there is a ways to file appeal, process, and many parents do not realize that the whole process is not that complicated. Any person who knows how to use Excel or Word can uh, uh, make this happen. And uh, actually, one of the parents, we would like to make a tutorial for some, and maybe to create some templates so the parents can utilize and um, do the appeal, and if they don't agree with the judge decision, uh, bring this for the Supreme Court awareness so we all know what's happening in our courts. And also, I would like to encourage some parents to join us uh, with Steve Samson. We are trying to um, pursue a reform of our family court um, statutes, and some of them is about interview with our kids to be audio and video recorded so when it's done for court purposes it's always must be in that form so nobody can bring some hearsay testimony and parents basically um, cannot fight that you cannot fight somebody hearsay testimony until it is in the video or audio recording form we also would like uh, our uh, legislator address what is parenting alienation means you know, it's just such a gray area. You can name anything as a parenting alienation. So we would like psychology group to come on board and identify the elements that must be present to call some conflict or some uh, situation in the custody as a parenting alienation. Because as of right now, you you literally can say to your ex-husband is an idiot, and somebody will say you are parent alienator, and therefore you're not you don't deserve to have custody of your child. Also, I would like um, parents um, to bring their stories, you know, to bring their uh, reviews of the judges who were uh, ruling their lives. Because uh, we are still the small Nevada state where we choose who are our judges. And the time runs so fast, in the next two, three years, we're gonna elect our judges. And everybody experience with the judge is really count because we are Nevada and we elect our judges. Some states uh, appoint them, so that's different system. Well, Nevada, we have to basically uh, do the campaign and they have to run for it. Yes, they so, do. So yeah, be uh, be careful and be smart of choosing our judges. And you know, I I, I really um I was uh, listening to what you're saying about this uh, parent alienation. Yes. I wish we have a lot more time to uh, talk about it because I'm here as a parent and I experience a lot. I'm a single mom, mm -hmm. so I, I take uh, take the um, the um, you know being a mom or and a dad a dad in my house is really really hard. hard. The the thing is all these government policies that they put on us is like you 
they don't know what's actually inside our house. And I would like to say about this med, 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 mediation, right? Mm -hmm. Mediation process should start at home before we actually bring it to the government because they are not in our house um, day to day basis. Hours, correct. Yeah. Uh, that's what I'm trying to tell you earlier that uh, you know counselors sometimes they have their own problem too they can't yes. even counsel themselves exactly. the doctor of psychology what did the psychology are also have problems you know they can even uh, solve their own problem and there they are judging this parents that by knowing and talking to her she says very smart she love her child she is willing to give money for the ex-husband for just the child but giving her eight eight days a month i think it's not they, they shouldn't be the judging judge, the judge judge her completely out of you know nobody should be judged that, you know no, nobody should be judging a mom's mentality because you know a mom will be a mom it's actually more uh, co um, cohesive relationship with their child than a father to be honest we are more we are more uh, connected to our child as a mom than than fathers. So. Thank you. You're gonna have a lot of fathers uh, support well, group haters. So oh, uh, that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> Go ahead and call me. Uh, message me on my Facebook, Maria Pureza, because I am gonna talk to you guys. Yeah, uh, she is a fighter. <laughs> I, <laughs> but but anyway, thank you so much thank for you. being here, and I hope we can see you again next week to talk about this. Maybe I can put you on the view of Las Vegas of my shows that and I and Maria and Joe. Yeah, so. I uh, I have no intention to humiliate nobody, but yes. I want I want Nevada be aware of the issues that happens in the court where it was low uh, low. Uh, law less la uh, land I experience and um, I think it should not happen to none of the parents I believe the judges they are there to mm -hmm. upheld our Constitution mm -hmm. and our laws yes and when the judge is going beyond that and started creating their own laws we have an issue because you don't know how judge gonna rule because judge can just not like you just because and uh, you're gonna lose your child and uh, it's almost to my advice to the parents, stay away from family court. If there is a way to find to settle it, yeah. resolution, yeah. yes, mm -hmm. uh, settle, at home. Yes, settle with your um, other parent, um, find their common sense. Hopefully they will come to senses because in my case, when somebody hurt me so deeply and um, I'm not sure if I'll be able to have a just like this relationship uh, with my ex-husband uh, because my son gonna grow up and he's gonna Correct. be when she like your kids 28 ancient, years yes. old or something well, my know? kids my kids uh i didn't i don't know i did not lose my kids i just didn't fight it anymore because these are kids you know it's it's our problem it's not the kids so Put them first. It, may, it hurts but what can you do you know what i mean the judge they they always get involved you know I believe there is child support uh, for many families is a main uh, reason. There's yes. a lot of programs out there that would help us too, so that's a good thing. Well, listen, uh, today we have to learn a lesson that we cannot trust tr trust nobody. You know, also the judges or the lawyer, they cannot mandate our lives. You know, they have to know the truth, the reality, and who are the parents that they're judging. So I believe uh, what she's sending the message here, she didn't get the pre-trial. And uh, Ariel, can I just say something? Sure. The also biggest concern, if you as a judge give uh, this completely um, uh, ruling without no way to fix other parent behavior, that's a crime itself. Every parent have to have rights, father or mother, mother yes. to gain back his joint physical custody and be present in the child's life, as our Nevada legislator recognized that our state is pro-joint physical custody state, and every single judge needs to remember that. Otherwise, you are there upholding, upholding somebody's personal interest, but not our laws in Nevada. Well, um, let me um, just plug in my show again one last time is um, Empowerment with Maria and Joe coming up soon here at WCOBM.TV and you can also follow us on all our social media. We have social media that you, um, social media shows, Facebook page, Twitter, and we also have Maria and Joe or Empowerment with Maria and Joe on all social medias. And also, please follow us 
thank you for following our the view of Las Vegas every day. Thank you so much for all your support. We have like twenty five thousand followers. Of course, of course. Thank you so much, Luda, for thank coming. You so much. And I'll see you again next week. We're gonna talk about this, and we're gonna help a lot of parents out there that they can have a self esteem to share their problem. And there, there we are. We're open. Thank you so much. This is our real live TV and the view of Las Vegas. Next week, watch us again live. Thank you.